and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about something that I talk about quite a bit and I want to do another video on it because we're coming into that time of year and that's the bike lane as you see it right here I'm standing in one right now and specifically it's a little bit off to the side of the bike lane here right at the curb but debris and we're coming into that time of year here as we are about midway through September where I, I call this basically flat tire season where we get flat tires and so I don't know what we can do about it but it's it's one of the biggest issues I have with the bike lane and people ask me quite often when they see me not riding in the bike lane when there is a bike lane option why I'm doing that why am I riding on the road as opposed to the bike lane okay I'm gonna hop on and tell you about it right now and let's talk a little bit about bike lanes and issue with debris in the bike lanes or as I like to call it crap in the bike lanes so if you look over here just a little bit off on the road nothing no debris and cars have thicker tread on their uh, wheels on their tires it's going to be a lot di more difficult to puncture a car tire than it will a bicycle tire so first of all let's talk about why i don't always stay in the bike lane just a couple of things about that one is you'll only see me riding I got a duck here you'll only see me riding outside the bike lane if there's no bike lane first of all but if there is a bike lane option and look at this here's another problem right here and if you look up at that and then look at me I am uh, a lot taller than this so it's stuff like that that can be dangerous especially when you're riding at night in the bike lane unless you know where you're riding and where these kind of issues are you're going to get hit and that could be dangerous because you get hit and then it throws you off you may uh, veer into the road and get hit by a car um, but the reason one of the reasons why I like I say I ride if there's a bike lane available then I'll ride in it unless there's a lot of debris in the bike lane and there's no cars coming if there's cars coming and it depends too on the speed uh, limit on that road if it's a faster road 45 and there's cars coming obviously I'm not going to go into the lane I'm just gonna have to deal with the bike lane as opposed to the car lane but it's tough I mean People wonder about, you know, why people don't always, bike riders, don't always stay in the bike lane. Well, there's a great example. Um, crap, I'm going to use that word again, in the bike lane. And we don't want to be fixing a flat all the time, and it's not just flat tires. It's dangerous because if you're trying to avoid because nobody wants to run over glass for example and if you're trying to avoid the glass and you're um, weaving around you know in the bike lane the bike lanes aren't that wide to begin with so if you start weaving around in there then all of a sudden you know you could weave a little too much uh, to the left and then veer out into the uh, traffic lane so So yeah, I avoid the lane uh, sometimes. Uh, that's my biggest issue with it, is the debris. If they cleaned up the bike lanes, they'd be great. And I, I would be uh, happy to ride in the bike lane. But all the cars, uh, the traffic, uh, and the cars throw everything into the bike lane, right? Cars, trucks, whatever vehicles. And everything gets to the bike lane where the curb is there and it catches everything and then it builds up. 
And now we're coming into, like I say, I'll call it the uh, flat tire season because, I'm gonna go this way, because uh, uh, stuff, uh, leaves and other things fall from trees and then they wind up in the bike line. So I don't know what we can do about it. I mean, I see sweepers out once in a while. This is a dangerous spot right here to get to turn, but here we go. I made it. Didn't see that car coming. That's a, that's a tough one there. But, uh, yeah, I don't know other than sweeping it more often. And, of course, then it's going to come down to who's paying for it. Even here right now, I'm going around some of this stuff because I don't know what that is. Uh, glass, nails, thorns, I've seen uh, tires, you know, that explode off of trucks. And then in the winter, or in the fall, like right now, you get the leaves off the trees. And then here anyway in Oregon, we're coming into rainy uh, season coming up. And then the leaves get wet. And that's not... That's not cool to ride in. I mean, that's slippery and can, can cause issues. So I guess I'm going to constantly be ranting and raving about this, but I, I think I'm going to keep saying stuff about it occasionally because it's true. Until we get something done about it. And it's not just me. I'm speaking on behalf of a lot of bikers that... Um, complain about the same thing and then here's those branches I got to duck again now that's terrible too about the branches though that's that's awful it's gonna take somebody smacking uh, into a branch and get all you know uh, discombobulated and veer off into the uh, into the vehicle lane there and then get hit then it becomes a story but we don't want to get to that so if you want to weigh in and give your two cents worth on this I'd be glad to hear from you just leave a comment in the comments section I want to turn left but Looks like I'll be waiting a while here. And then here, right here, the bike lane ends, and so I gotta blend in with traffic, so. You know, sometimes we need the bike lane and sometimes we don't, but sometimes we have no choice, like right here. I think I can make it here, and I'm going to. So that's just one big issue I have crap in the bike lane and the other thing is the branches that hang over right in the bike lane and like I say that's that becomes extremely dangerous especially if you're riding at night and you're using the bike lane even with a good headlight are you going to be able to see up above you especially if you're going around a curb or if you're going around a curved uh, road you're not even going to see that, so that becomes dangerous. Anyway, I could go on and on, but I doubt anything will get done about it, but uh, I just wanted to put that out there and see what you think. Do you agree with that? Uh, too much low. Uh, too much crap in the bike lane. That's a pretty cool looking scooter. Just leave a message in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for supporting us. Just hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And like I say, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining on, uh, me on this video and uh, hearing me uh, rant a little bit about 
debris in the bike lanes. I'll probably never let that go until something gets done, and that'll be never. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.